Alrighty, new version here, let's go. It is a different setup. Ooh, I like it. It's nice and clear. <laughs> nice. And the end, nice. It's a lot of changes, I love it. So let's go one by one here. You can probably, this is up to you, not, not that it's wrong or anything, but you know, you can always push the the silhouette when he goes, ah, this is more like, it's not, I wouldn't say hesitant, but it's kind of like, a, ah, I might eat it versus you might bring the arm up a bit higher, hand here, pizza is, you know, dangling and he has his head up here, mouth is open type of thing, ah, bigger if you want. You might argue that he would not see it, but I think we can just, assume that it's going to make noise it will be fine but careful it's not that it's overlappy but it's like eh, eh. it's pretty fast make so that was a very professional sound eh, eh. <laughs> going from this to this i don't think it's too bad again there's nothing wrong with this whole setup it's just a suggestion you could potentially make this silhouette cleaner um you know maybe he really really wants to eat it that's why he really really fights for it this is more like i guess i gotta eat it Versus, especially with the hand up like this, like, ah, do I have to eat it? Versus, oh, this is, I love pizza. I'm going to eat this, you know? So maybe that could be a pose where you can you can push that idea. He might lean further back with the shell. Arr, the hand might be out here. Like, really, I'm going to eat this. And then you can just always make that wobble bigger, whatever, to draw attention to itself. That's, you know, just totally up to you. Then we have, that's cool. I think a bit fast. I wonder once you spline this, if you're gonna hold this a bit longer, meaning that you're gonna keep going up with the camera because you're tilting a bit too soon. I know this is in step, so it might not be a problem once you spline it, but I'm wondering just timing wise, it might go and maybe. I wonder if you're gonna add five frames, six frames to this hang time and then drop. That's all very clear and clean. Let's see, because he goes there. That should be okay. I was wondering, should, be, should the camera be further out so that we understand more what this guy is? But I don't think so, because we see him here. I think it's, you're fine. But this is nice and clean. You can always bring that maybe up a bit higher and over, and then have like some pepperoni sticking out. And then for this, he just seems, ba you know, just like with here, with this pose, kind of like, eh. When he gets to this, it's a bit... You know, there's an offset there. It's slightly mirrored. And I'm just wondering. He seems not that he seems bored, but it's more like, hey, like you know, like what is his character? Is he just kind of like, hey, you took my pizza. I'm not the smartest guy type of thing. And is is that something you can do? Like in a, like once you spline, it's gonna have a waddle over there, or is he? He's kind of like, hey, I don't like this. And he has his you know his fists down here, like I don't like this. Blah blah blah. Like how far could you put this? Or push this, so it's not just movement, but a bit more personality-driven, potentially. Just a thought. I will probably take that shoe out a bit this way, so I have a cleaner silhouette, so it's not straight at us. And then he gets ready. I do like this a lot, though, because we're getting into... That's very cool. I like this. We get to see the face. It's a good fake out. I like that little look there, too. And he gets ready. You might argue maybe at that point the arm could be lower, this could be higher. I don't know if you want to obstruct this for this long. Again, not that it's too bad because we get to see it here. But just worth a thought. You want to maybe clean that up a bit. And in this, once you spline, this might just be a bit simple in terms of going up. You know, it, it feels like a very much. I got the pizza and then slurp. Could this be like he enjoys it a lot? Like I stole this from you and it's awesome. This is just a thought, you know, where he, you know, when you have a basketball, you twist it and then the ball goes. So what if he throws this up like that and does a bit of a twist into his mouth or, you know, like a throw up or something. Not there's that much room. So that's why I'm thinking kind of, it's kind of rotating in his hand and goes down a little extra flourish. And then probably, let me see, he goes into this. Haha. Again, as a victory pose, it's a bit mirrored. So you can think in terms of how huh, like it can go like this and at least maybe take another step into like a different kind of pose where it's maybe just kind of pushed more into three quarter. What is he doing next? Hold on. He gets punched. I mean, that could work. He goes like this and then either I wonder 
thinking out loud here. I haven't thought that through. If he takes a step back with this leg or this leg. Just something where it's like, huh? Maybe a little taunt. You know, it could be like, <laughs> take a little step back. Or maybe a slight one forward where he shifts his head left and right, wiggles his shoulders. Kind of like, eh, eh, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Like a little bit of attitude and spunk. And then the guy goes, and I think instead of just rotating this up, I will go and then rotate the fist over so that we have the fingers more into, into a profile view fist. So it's less finger rotate, but also wrist rotate into like a, a bent, you know, bent fist. And he realizes, uh-oh, this gets a bit wonky. What am I looking at? He brings this up into what? Not sure what this is. The side, I don't know, that could be a bit cleaner where I mean, you can maybe cheat this into like a full on fist here. Nice clean green silhouette, color silhouette. But I love this idea here that it punches that thing out. And the same thing for clarity here. You might as well bring that pizza all the way over here. Hand this clean, a little bit of arm and then the shell. Just kind of really nice clean silhouette. So it doesn't have a bit of a tangent there. Then it's, that's cute. I like this. And again, it could be something where he takes a step and it's maybe slight turn. So you can see that mouth a bit more open. Not that it's unclear. I think it's okay. Just wondering if, if you have room there. And then that's fun. You might need one more frame into this. But once we splat in, this should be okay. Huh? What's the camera doing? Let me just check. Does this. And the camera goes. Yeah. That's mainly that. Little things here and there. But I think it's it's a lot more entertaining, subjectively, of course. It's a lot cleaner than before. I think that works pretty well. Yeah, thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.